Hello students, welcome to the class of maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see indeterminate form 0 by 0. We will solve the example of 0 by 0 form by using the Allospedals rule. So first of all we will see the statement of this Allospedals rule. What is it? If f of x and the g of x be the two functions of x such that the limit value of the f of x and the g of x when x tending to a it is what 0. Both are continuous at x equals to a. Both are differentiable at x equals to a and the derivative of f of x and g of x that is f dash of x and g dash of x are continuous at x equals to a. Then we can write limit x tending to a f of x upon g of x as which will be equals to the limit x tending to a f dash of x upon g dash of x provided that g dash of a is not equals to 0. Okay. We are just differentiating the numerator and the denominator separately and writing here. Now let us see the example. What is the example? Now the example is evaluate limit x tending to 0 of this function. If I put the 0 here, what is it? It is about 0, 1, it is about 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Sin 0 is 0, x is 0, numerator is 0 and also the denominator is also 0 if I put x equals to 0. So this is in the 0 by 0 form. So I can apply the Lospital's rule and I will differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. Now I differentiate the numerator. What is the derivative of e to the power x? It is e to the power x. Derivative of e to the power minus x is what? e to the power minus x into minus 1 that minus minus get plus. Derivative of sin x is what? Cos x and the derivative of x is what? It is 1. Therefore minus 4 is here. The derivative of x to the power 5 is what? It is 5 x to the power 4. Okay. Now put the 0 here. e to the power 0 1. e to the power 0 1. Cos 0 is 1. This is 1 plus 1 plus 2. It is 4. 4 minus 4 is what? It is 0. Again it is in the 0 by 0 form. Again you apply the loss product rule and you have to apply the loss product rule till we get the finite value. So here we differentiate the numerator separately and the denominator separately. Again we are getting the 0 by 0 form. Okay. Apply the loss product rule. We get this quantity. Again it is in the 0 by 0 form. Apply the loss product rule. Again it is in the 0 by 0 form. Again apply the loss product rule till we get that is finite value of the limit. Okay. If I put the 0 here, it is the power 0, 1, it is the power 0, 1, cos 0 is what? It is 1. It is 4 by 120, answer is what? 1 by 30. This way we solve the examples on 0 by 0 form. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you get something from it, please like and share the video and please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganit Sangraha.